had a little girl's day and took a look around Cartier. First up, the Clash collection. The Clash line has really grown on me, especially that flat collar style necklace. Right now, that one's out of the budget, so instead I tried on some rings. The Clash line is still mostly rose gold, although they did come out with a double thickness ring in yellow gold, so maybe there's plans to do more in yellow gold. This one is the rose gold Clash ring. It comes in two thicknesses. Here is the medium, and here is the small. They're actually quite similar, so if you were just wearing one ring at a distance, I think it'd be really hard to tell which one it was. But to give you a comparison, here they are side by side. Personally, I liked the medium more. I think it allows you to see the Clash design a bit better. And then I tried it on in white gold. I definitely prefer the white. Next up, the Justin Clue collection. Again, I tried on some rings. I feel like the plain Justin Clue ring is everywhere, but I don't see the other variations that often, so naturally I wanted to try them on. On the right, it's the white gold Justin Clue with diamonds in the regular thickness. I actually really love how bold and chunky it is with just the right amount of sparkle. And then on the left, it's the smaller version of the ring, so it's actually thinner. This one is fully blinged out with pave diamonds, quite a fun look. And then for a little mix and match stack, I tried on the all white gold, regular thickness, Justin Clue ring with diamonds, and the white gold clash in small. The clash rings also come in a diamond option, but I feel like the diamonds get lost in the design. And then the Trinity. Cartier is launching a new cushion-shaped Trinity line next month, and it's stunning. There's rings and necklaces, all with the classic interlocking white, yellow, and rose gold rings, but this time with a bit of a square geometric edge. What really caught my eye, though, are the earrings. They're chunky statement hoops with a pave diamond white gold center. The closure was kind of interesting. It's a very short post back. But I think I like the ring version more. It comes in solid gold or diamond pavé, and I always like a bit of bling, so naturally I was drawn to the pavé. The tricky thing with rings is figuring out what finger to wear it on and what size. They never have my size in store, so it's always a little tricky, but the Trinity rings come in so many different options. Classic, thin, even thinner, tiny diamond studs, and naturally a full pavé version. What do we think of the fully iced out Thin Trinity? For something a little different, there's even black ceramic. On this one, the rose gold has been replaced with a black ceramic band. And surprisingly, I liked it. I feel like the black is somehow low-key. I'm torn between these two. And last but not least, a classic tennis bracelet. This one isn't Cartier, it's actually my friends. What are friends for if you can't share jewelry? 